Good afternoon. I'm here at the Brussels Urban Summit with uh, Marta Messa, Secretary General of Slow Food. Uh, thank you for joining me uh, just after the Eurocities panel on urban food policies for a sustainable and just future. Thank you, hello, and thank you for the invitation. Uh, my pleasure. Um, cities play a crucial role in food systems transformation. Yet today, uh, ambitious proposals from the European Commission, like the Nature Restoration Law um, and the Sustainable Food Systems Framework Law, uh, are encountering strong resistance at the European Parliament and beyond. So um, one of the main arguments uh, to water down uh, environmental objectives is that we have to prioritize uh, food security. Yeah. Are food security and food, sus food sustainability incompatible? They're absolutely compatible and they go one with the other. We cannot have food security without the environment and without food sustainability. The narrative that we're hearing of we cannot have environmental ambition, we cannot meet the objectives of the farm to fork, so the European strategy for more sustainable food systems, are not based on facts. Um, if we look at the facts of what has been happening in the last years, for instance, last year, 10% 10 of uh, land for crops was wiped away by climate change events. And just recently in Europe, we've seen in Italy uh, floods that have destroyed millions of fruit uh, trees, whereas in Spain, for instance, drought are compromising agriculture. We do need nature to work uh, and we do need nature to uh, have sustainable food systems. So the two go hand in hand and food security is really about diversified agroecological food systems, meaning food systems where food is grown in such a way that is good for those who grow it, those who eat it and, those, and for the planet. Also, uh, when we tend to talk about food, uh, we don't tend to talk about cities. Mm -hmm. um, actually, sometimes uh, uh, we say rural versus urban. Uh, but on the contrary, um, how can cities and the civil society work with and help empower farmers? We do need absolutely to work with farmers and as low food, we've been working for 30 years, elevating small scale farmers that are working indeed producing food that is good for everyone and for the planet. Um, and honestly, we have to work with everyone, farmers, uh, food producers, so those that are in turn empowering farmers by transforming what uh, farmers do into products like cheese, wine, beer, breads, all those uh, products that also reflect the cultural heritage of a specific region and are the unique added value. We need to work with cooks. Cooks are amazing ambassadors of what the farmers are doing on the field and are amazing ambassadors again of the cultural heritage that we have and that belongs to the city and to the wider area around it. So we absolutely need to engage with all sectors of society. Farmers do play a key role. They're the backbone of our food system. As civil society and from the perspective of the food, we have a unique uh, entry point and access to farmers. Um, but honestly, we need to work all together and make sure that they're part of the conversation. And it's not just about um, inviting them to the table, it's really about understanding what are the needs of farmers, food artisans, cooks, citizens, uh, to make sure that everybody has access to good food. And how can we together work on it? It's about having ownership and all together making a collective effort to change the food system for the better for everyone. Absolutely. And talking about working together, uh, Slow Food and Eurocities, uh, we have both contributed to policy recommendations on the Sustainable Food System Framework Law. Uh, what does it mean, particularly for cities, to keep European ambitions high? Cities are in a unique position because those cities that, and we heard some of them today, that have developed food policies, that have developed effective food strategies, that have food councils, are an amazing example of the change that can be driven in a very effective way locally, but that can inspire action at other levels of governance. So indeed, in the recommendations we drafted together, we were talking about the importance of elevating the good, like the good social innovation, and this is the innovation that we're really interested in, but the good innovation that cities are coming up with, together with civil society, together with farmers, to change food systems and make them more fair and just and sustainable and enjoyable, honestly, for everyone and profitable uh, and elevate that experience to, to the national and regional level, if not to the international level. So uh, cities are often an overlooked actor, uh, but that has great potential and that can really inspire policy change at other governments.
governance levels. Uh, Marta Messa, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us uh, and enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you so much, you too.